You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm her. sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent, addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy, us torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day is here! Hey, handsome. We're here for the show. Go get him, Robo! Just another day in old Detroit. I'm telling you, this town is going to hell. Like we're not there already. I can see your lady is still quite shaken up. I'll get one of the paramedics to check on her. Oh, don't, don't bother. She's only Jones. I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. You should know by now, when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make you comfortable. Make it double. We can't. 
can't wait any longer. Those trigger-happy maniacs have a ton of hostages. But, sir... Roger that. Over and out. What is the situation? Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on a bad side. Press here. Medic! There you are, partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude! The police want us to release the hostages! I, oh, so no hard feelings! Hey! You, you can't go in yet! We need to wait for the reinforcements! Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on. You're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators and staircase, too. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here. Any more? 
more tricks up your sleeve? I... What a warm welcome, don't you think? Why don't you check it out? I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner.
Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back! Thank God you've come! This lady really needs to see a doctor! Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages. One with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over. Let's give him a-
Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. Oh, James really looks thinking. up to you. Like the one that took soot! You hear me? You work so hard, honey. Why don't you take some leave? We all could use a little break from this reality, don't you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? We will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! I love you so much, Alex. You okay there, Murphy? at once. Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can't you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But... She's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man wants examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. 
push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. God damn it, when will this be fixed? Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. There's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine. Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. 
Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Man, I tell you, it was crazy in that TV station. Good job you had Murphy in with you. You bet. Without him, we'd all be gone for soon. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? What is all this shit doing in my locker? <laughs> we want you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. Robo Pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Probably for you. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing. Hi, Murphy. I just can't do it. There is no way. Murphy, would you give me a hand? I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Help me out here. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, finally. Oh. Sleep tight.
What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are hostile to the workers. I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! to find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? No, but I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog in all of Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? No. You cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins. 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. <gasps> Thanks for the help, Murphy. The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first.
Archer's ready for you, Robo. Go get him. to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Uh, could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We need nothing wrong. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's Let brand new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me because the guy broke your nose. As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? At least it ain't raining.
See that guy down there? He's an asshole. Hey, man, found my gun and teeth. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candy. shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed.
Listen, guys. I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or, I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail! Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop! So try some different talk! Or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does how to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean... I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I say. Oh, crap! Give me back my money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business. Which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop.
Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Children should not skip school. It is important for them to attend every single class. I stopped listening after should. such amazing colors and there's not one but two of you from now on i promise i will cherish you more often your body readings suggest substance misuse oh man a real like tj laser you are so incredibly shiny i'm definitely getting more of this stuff who sold you drugs i really shouldn't say but you are my tv hero so all right, all right, uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement to keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. Tentle burn! 
open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? <laughs> you hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, 
I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Citizen, I would like to inform you that knowingly delaying an investigation is classified as a felony. Yada, yada, yada. I don't have all day to listen, nor do I understand this bureaucratic jargon. Would you like to call your lawyer and have him explain it to you? You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. Sixty-three percent of your repair invoices have not been accounted for. You've gone over my books? I thought you came here looking for the car thief. Looks like there is more than just one thief to be caught. Oh, come on! This is how everyone operates in this godforsaken city. Cut me some slack, will you? Okay, you win. So there's this boy, Scott. He works for me on and off. He might have something to do with the missing car. Let me open his locker for you. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being. Where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning when two thugs swang by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments.
Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God! It must be those thugs! We're dead! No one's gonna save us! If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You oh, shit! It's, it's the man! Blast! You did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way... I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs! They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, 
but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So what, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? It is my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again.
I can't believe you've actually done it! Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. I do not trust criminals. You will explain yourself in court. I knew I had it coming. You I need get to get
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but uh, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. It is a privilege and a merit for civilians to assist the police in capturing wanted fugitives. Well said, uh... What can I say? I'm a sucker when it comes to helping the cops. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis, Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, <laughs> and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer a street entrepreneur. You know what they say, good business is where you find it. Ah, it's nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom, and I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though his missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh no. One thing you should know about me, I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. 
funny enough. He always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangster's paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib, and it's kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, that sounds bad when you say it like that, but... <clears throat> Still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. We will proceed with haste. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, man. As you command, Officer Steely. Hey, Tin Man, over here. This is where Briggs lives. Let's get this over with. His watch is burning a hole in my pocket. Apartment 21. Oh man, my hands are sweaty. Are you going into... This is it. Deep breath. Let's do this. You first. Robocop! Are you here about Mike? Yes, I am sorry to hear about your husband. Oh, no, 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 no. This junkie is not coming inside. What else are you gonna steal? Huh. Funny you should say that. I can't stand him. I'm sure he has something to do with Mike being missing. Are you any closer to finding my husband? We are still looking. Is there anything more that you could tell me about his disappearance? I've already reported what I know, but if you have any more questions, shoot. I heard that he was looking into reports of bodies going missing. An old lady approached him at the precinct and told him a sob story about how she couldn't afford to bury her husband. Can you believe that? Anyway, when she finally collected enough money and went back to the morgue, only to find that they had lost her husband's body, Mike went to check it out and never came back. Where was the last location that he was seen? I remember him telling me that he was leaving his jurisdiction. That that's where the leads were taking him. I tried to convince him not to go. It seemed dangerous, but he felt sorry for that old lady. He went against his own rules and me. He left angry because we'd been arguing. Do you remember the exact location? He never told me. But maybe it's in his files. Why do you think that Pickles is involved in your husband's disappearance? My husband's a good man. Sometimes too good for his own sake. He believes in second chances. Even if someone doesn't deserve them. Like Pickles. That unappreciative asshole constantly gets himself into trouble. I mean, who's always there to get him out? You guessed it. So do the Earth, Mike. Pickles has a bad influence on my husband. I think I have everything I need for now. Knowing you're on the case makes me a little less anxious, Robocop. Now I just need to break it down for our son. He does not know? I didn't know how to tell him. He's a smart kid, and I think he suspects something. Could you maybe tell him to come home? It's getting late, and the streets aren't safe these days. He normally dawdles, but having you tell him should <laughs> light a fire in his britches. I will make sure that he returns home, madam. Thank you. 
He's playing on the basketball court nearby with his friends. That went pretty much as expected. We are not done. We're not? You still have that watch, do you not? There is someone who needs to learn what time it is. Is... is that a movie quote or something? I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Oh, Daniel. Sure. Bummer. He's not here. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. So I guess you have like a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like Nuke. They threw out the chalk here. Must have found something more interesting. <laughs> Do it! Come on! And him! What 
are you waiting for? Fuck him up! He's laughing at you! Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no, it's the cops! I don't wanna go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning, and someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours, they take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that's the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See, you already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No, it's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. <laughs>